Welcome back. So let's give the solution to the next question. So problem seven. Says prove the following. <coughs> so one said Peter is given by tan Peter plus cosine of theta divided by one plus sine theta. Now to prove a trigonometric identity means that you have to manipulate one side of the equality to show that it has the same form as the other side. So for this given problem, let's play with the right hand side. to show that it simplifies to sec theta. Uh, so this is what we have. Now we know that tan theta is the same as sine theta over cos theta. So we can write it as sine theta over cos theta plus this fraction we write it here the same way it is cos theta over one plus sine theta. Now after converting sine tan in terms of sine and cosine, let's put these two fractions together. So LCM will be cos theta times one plus sine theta. And then cos theta divides LCM one plus sine theta times. So I'll have sine theta into one plus sine theta plus this device LCM cos theta times, so I'll have cos theta times cos theta is cos squared theta, which is the same as open brackets here to get sine theta plus sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. You don't have to open this. Let's get the denominator be cos theta into one plus sine theta. And then uh, since sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is one, then we have, so this part here, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one. So we'll have sine theta just plus one. This part is one over cos theta into one plus sine theta. And this same same fraction can be written as one plus sine theta. Remember addition is commutative. And then cos theta into one plus sine theta. Now this allows you to cross these two brackets which are common. So this and this cancels out. So that will remain with one over cos theta. And by definition, one over cos theta is what defines sec theta. So which is the same as left hand side. So we have successfully shown that right hand side is the same as left hand side whose value is just sec theta. And therefore that's the end of our proof. <clears throat> Second part, seven command two, sec squared theta minus one divided by sec squared theta is equals to sine squared theta. This is an appetizer. Uh, this problem is an appetizer because you will not struggle to show that left hand side 
is equal to right hand side this way. So proof. So left hand side, <coughs> we have sec square Peter minus one over sec square Peter. I see when I have A minus B over C, the same as A over C minus B over C. So this can be written as sec squared theta divided by sec squared theta minus one over sec squared theta. And this is one. So we'll have one minus one over sec squared theta. But since one over sine theta equals to sec theta, then this is the same thing as saying one over sec theta. Uh, this uh, one over sine is uh, one over cos is what is sec theta, not sine. Sorry for that. So since one over cos theta is equal to sec theta, then one over sec theta is the same as cos theta. So which implies that one over sec squared theta is the same as cos squared theta. So therefore we have sec squared theta minus one over sec squared theta will be, remember I pick it from here, one minus one over sec squared theta, which is the same as one minus cos squared theta from this relationship here, where there's one over sec squared. And this is nothing from sine squared theta since cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to one. So it goes without saying that one minus cos squared theta is sine squared theta. So therefore, left hand side is the same as right hand side. And the answer is sine squared theta. And then we rest our case. <clears throat> Lastly, number eight, simplify the expressions. So Roman one, cosine of X plus pi over two. Remember pi over two is the same as 90 degrees. Now, by definition, we know that, so solution. Cosine of A plus B is given by cosine of A, cosine of B, minus sine of A, sine of B. So our A will be X, our B will be pi over two. So this implies So that implies that cos x plus pi over two will be given by cosine of x 
cosine of pi over two minus sine of x and then sine of pi over two. And you see, this will give us cos of x, cos of 90 degrees is zero, minus sine x, sine of 90 is one. So this will be just zero, then minus sine x. So therefore the given expression is simply the same as minus sine x. And the last problem, part two, sine of x minus pi. Remember pi is 180 degrees. So we know that sine a minus b is sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. This by definition. <coughs> so sine x minus pi will be sine x cos pi minus cos x and then sine pi. So the thing is that let's get sine uh, cosine of 180 degrees is negative one. So this is the same as sine of x times negative one minus sine of 180 degrees of pi is zero cos x is zero. So this will just give us zero. So this reduces to negative sine x. So therefore sine x minus pi is the same as negative sine of x. So that is what you are supposed to do in that given question and in that given test. Thank you.